So you think ba a lot of baby mums is a good thing? Yeah, you know, them, can I them and try and stop it? That's what them and them are trying to stop it for multiplying. Alright, cool. I'm going to deal with that. I'm going to deal with that. I'm going to have to talk to you about the baby mum situation. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big problem in the community. You know what I'm saying? You're laughing because you know it's a problem. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't mean we can't change it, but it's a problem. You know what I'm saying? What else did he mention? He said knife crime. Yeah, you understand? Yeah. So what do you think of that, my bro? Yeah, man. To be honest, we need to stop. You know, we're not need to stop in the one and the other. You know what I mean? Understand? We need to unite. Um, that's one of the hardest things to do, isn't it? That people need to unite. No matter where you're from, you know what I mean? Uh, what? Yeah. We need to come together as one, you know? What do you think? What? What? What do you think about what he said? <laughs> do you know what he said about us? No, 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 don't worry, not about us. No, like no, I, I, do you hear how society perceives us as black men? Yeah. Did you hear what he said? Because yes. what he said was real talk. He said that in the black community, there's a lot of baby mothers, right, with no male figure in the house. There's a lot of crime. No, 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 listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen, bro, bro, what's your name? Josh, don't worry, don't, no, you don't no, have to no, explain no, yourself. I'm worried, I'm just saying, yeah? like, I'm saying that is the known thing I'm telling you. It's true, that's what I'm saying, so I'm building on that. Because I know if I asked another guy out there from another race, he'll probably say the same thing. So I agree, it's a problem we're trying to tackle, you understand? So, what do you think of that? Does that move you? Does, does it... Maybe because you're good. Like, are you good? Are you married? No, I'm not. You're not? But do you care about the state of your people? So what do you think about what you said? Mm -hmm. True, true, true. Now, what if that's the, mm -hmm. the, the, the main population? Mm -hmm. There must be some truth to that. Back, back in Africa, you know, have one man have all five, six wives. Huh? I hear that. I hear that. I see what you got. So it's all right to have many baby moms. I don't really say I'm here, man. I have wives, I don't think. To be honest, you know what I mean? We're, we're, it's just a natural thing for we, as black men, we have women. You know what I mean? You get women and have youths. You know what I mean? We all feel that that the part is just natural. You know what I mean? So the Bible never said people to get married and them things there. They say take a woman and call her your wife, you know? Have you called any one of them your wife yet? Yeah, yeah man. You, you called them your wife? Have you made them your wife? Yeah, I'm married seven years, you know what I mean? Oh, okay, so you got one wife, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, that's good. That's good. So that's what you should be pushing. The yeah. marriage and one wife, you know what I'm saying? Get, get that. Um, but marriage still, I feel like, say, probably people didn't know when we know today we are more than married. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's well, it. I love me. You know what you need to do. Yeah. You wouldn't marry. Nah, because you know, I'm go under the Babylon law about marriage and them things. You get me? Oh, okay, so, okay. Let's, let's do with what? You agree? Just take a woman and call her my wife. Oh, you know what I mean? And say, yeah, you're my wife. Now, okay. beside the paper, okay. I'm sure say, I'm my wife. I'm my wife. All right, then. Now, that's yeah, good. That's good. Agree with that. <laughs> yeah, man. He does. He huh? doesn't agree with that. Okay, so. What you did was the right thing to do. Let me show you two scriptures. Hebrews 13 and 4. And then you know the one I want in Toby, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm getting it. I got it. Yeah, let's read Hebrews 13 verse 4. It's just a book of Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. So, bro, you're married. You're a married man. That's honorable. In God's eyes, that's honorable. Don't ever be ashamed of that. I don't regret it. No, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. No, I don't regret it, though. I'm not afraid of the You understand? Because if you know you're with a woman that's kind of children, yeah. You know you you you, you know you, you you care for her. You want to be with her for life. Then yeah. marriage is the way. So we encourage that. That's part of the problem in our community. Like the brother said, look, baby moms. <laughs> he said it out his own mouth. Huh? Hmm? He said it out his own mouth, my bro. So that's something that we need to be fixing. We can't be encouraging baby moms, bro. That's not helping the community. And we've got enough youths in primary school saying, yo, where's your dad? I ain't seen him in three months. I ain't seen him yeah, in four months. At the end of the day, most of them. Man, that we get pregnant nowadays. As soon as them get pregnant, no one dad around, is it? Okay, but then I give the dad a chance to be in the youth life. I hear. Murder, but to see you say, 
that's a different that's a yeah, different discussion that's a different discussion though because now yeah. we're talking about the type of but woman no, but listen no no hear what i'm saying my bro hear what i'm saying but they hear enough time yeah. I don't know enough man who want being at them youth life but yeah. the woman black them out at them youth okay. life Okay, now that's, yeah, that's, that's what I'm trying to say I'm not saying you're wrong but now we've got to identify what the cause, what the problem is Before you sleep with a woman, right? Yeah. What do you think you're supposed to do? Hmm? As, as men, before we choose a woman to wife, right? Yeah. To carry our children or see what do you think we're supposed to do? Well, she's trying to respect me and that right there you got to know I'm she's good I get to understand that I get to know her you get me? Alright then, do you think that that's in the Bible? Mm -hmm. That's in the Bible? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, let me show you science. Now, the reason why we end up in this situation where the woman doesn't want to let the, the man see the child and they're not in agreement because what they built that foundation of sex upon was what? Nothing. They, they built it up on lust. Yeah. You understand? Meaning he saw her, he moved to her, probably sleep with her for three to four weeks and then afterwards he gave up on her but in the midst of that there's a child that's come through them yeah you so understand back in the days with our forefathers them yeah right them, enough of them have three four wives right you know what i mean because now let, let, now let me show you what our forefathers did do. let me show you what they did do. you read the hebrews um 13 verse 4 right yeah yeah, yeah. get me um Sirach 6 verse 7 this is what our forefathers did do that we failed to do today because we like to look at oh they had multiple wives and had a lot of women under their belt but they don't look at how they went about and what they had and how they dealt with those women you understand read that it's in the book of Sirach chapter 6 and verse 7 if, if thou would get a friend prove him first and be not haste to credit him hold on let's give it let's wait for the brother okay. Yeah, read up. Yeah. It is the book of Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 6 and verse 7. If thou would get a friend, prove him first. See that? So if you want to get with someone, yeah. you're choosing to meet someone your wife. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The Bible said we got to prove them first. I mean, you have to get to know them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to know if this person is fit yeah. to even be your wife. Or if she matches up to the standards that you put in place. We don't do that today. You know what I'm saying? Because we're not taught to do that. No, we're, we're taught to do that. No, but we're not. We're not taught to do that, man. Yeah, oh, come on, bro. My man. parents taught me to do that. Bro, be real, man. Come my on. parents taught me to do that. We're talking, we're talking about you. Look at our people. And let's see if we have a girl, my you, you know what I mean? Get What's your name? Joel. Joel. Look at our people. Yeah. You understand? Look what the brother said, yeah? He said, the majority of our people, we have baby mums, we don't take care of them. You understand? So that's what we're basing this discussion on. Yeah, but now, I'm saying, most time the man, they want to take care of them. And because, you know what I mean, they don't get the chance to do that. All right, you know why they don't, but they didn't start it right. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm trying yeah. to say. The process between him getting with a woman didn't start well, right. We can't blame the man, them all alone, neither. No, we don't blame, I don't just blame the man, them. I blame the woman as well. Yeah. We're both to blame, the man and the woman. You know why? Because we're not playing our roles. I mean, I'm more time to make the woman than no one listen either. Bro, no let me tell you that. The king them neither. Let me tell you that. The man shouldn't be sticking his pecker in anything, and a woman shouldn't be opening her legs to anything and anyone. That's the problem. That's the problem, bro. You understand? Because he didn't prove her properly. He didn't give himself time to get to know her to see if she has the right mind. Near on the side of. Near on the side. You know what I'm saying? He didn't give himself time to see if she has the right mindset. There you go. Get me to see if she has the right spirit. So now he slept with her, and then now he's discovering the real her afterwards. But really and truly, he should have taken the right time out to get to know her. Come in that building. Yes, my bro, you good? Yeah. No man. No, 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 no. You get what I'm saying, my bro? Yeah, so yeah. we're not taking the time out to do what we're supposed to do as a people. That's why we're in this situation. You understand? So that's something that we got to acknowledge, man. Yeah, the man's to blame. But, but, to be still, no. but the woman's to blame as well. We're both to blame as a nation. Remember, we're people. Mm -hmm. We've got to stop looking at ourselves individually. We've got to look at us as a people. Because yeah, when other nations look at us, they look at us as a people. They don't just single us out and say, hey, Floyd Mayweather's good. No, they'll be like, hey, listen, black people, they all the same. 
hear me, bro. Yeah. Because you're talking about um, our, four, our fathers taking um, multiple wives, and yeah. you know they do that in Africa. Now, in this day of age, we shouldn't be having multiple women, multiple wives. You understand? But let me show you something about what our fathers did. You know, I feel like we have more women than these men today. 100%, that's the natural. So that's why we have a couple more wives. No, no, no. no. We, go, we always go, go back to the Bible and yeah, see what God says. We follow the rules of the Bible. We go follow God, man. But you understand? We go follow the rules of the Bible because remember, the Bible's our book. Now, this man saying he's got one, two, three, four, five wives. Yes, 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 yes. You understand, bro? This man saying he's got one, two, three, four, five wives. Yeah. Now he has to take care of her food, she's a brave man. The man's not able to do that today. Yeah. You understand? But what but, if I can't afford them? Huh? But a lot of men can't afford that. I know. You understand? But even if a man says he can't afford that, we still have to go back to the Bible and see what the Bible says. Get me um, 1 Corinthians 7 and verse 2. Because the Bible commands us in this day of age now to have one wife. So we have to respect that on the Christ. I respect that still. You understand? So we can't be pushing on for wives. But nevertheless, if you did want another wife, Understand you gotta take care of our clothes or food, everything. Yeah. You understand? We can't do but that today. Look at it up. I want in the in the world of everything, living thing, you know what I mean? I want I, I wish I want animal alone to say go with one animal, any. Everybody else go with one table. Bro, we're not, remember, listen, let me say you that. You know what I mean? Look, bro, we're not animals. No, we're not animals. We can't live off of the earth and see what's going on with the earth. Listen, you know what I mean? That. I will take certain things on the earth. You understand me? Now, listen, bro, that's what we've got to put our own understanding to the side. You understand? We've got, we got to go back to the Bible. Oh, the penguin there, isn't it? That's all nice, huh? And then my Lord made to them one. one. But every other is living thing go with multiple different. Bro. You're yeah. not a penguin. No, <laughs> yeah, I'm not a penguin. You're not a lion. You're not a lion. Uh, where, where, where God's chosen. I'm just saying, you get me? You understand? No, no, listen, this, still really this is the book of no, 1 Corinthians, right, chapter 7 and verse 2. Yeah. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife. Oh no, have two wives. Own wife. No, have three wives. Own wife. See that, bro? Own your own wife. Meaning you got one wife for yourself. Mm. You understand? That's what Christ, that's what Paul's saying under the Spirit of Christ. You understand? So I, I hear what you're saying and don't get twisted. I know our forefathers, even in the Bible, they did have their own wives. But at that time, listen, at that time, they had their own land, they had their own, you know, stock. They had all these things. We don't have that today. They can maintain their wife. Uh, they can maintain their wife. Exactly. Uh, uh, look now. They can maintain, but, but even so though... today we can maintain at least four wives. I think we should still can have four wives. No, but bro, you can't maintain them. But no, also, but I'm saying, what if we can maintain them? But that's why I just read that. That's eh? why I just read what I read. Because nevertheless, even if you think you can maintain them, yes, God, Christ, Christ, them. Christ says just have one wife. Okay. That's what the Bible says. So we have to respect that. You feel me, bro? Yeah. It's 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 a it's a hard pill to swallow, but a lot of the time. We make up these reasons to have multiple wives for our own personal desire. Yeah, yeah. So that when we get bored, when you get bored of the one woman, you say, oh, we're to the next woman. And then in our minds, we're making up an excuse to say, oh, we can have multiple women. But really, it's just feeding a lust. Because we're not married to none of them. We can't, we're not taking care of them properly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we're not fulfilling our duty as men. You know what I'm saying, my bro? So, Multiple wives, bro, we're not supposed to be doing that. We should be focused on having one wife. And also, back to what you said earlier. Yeah, because you said something about the Babylon, the Babylon, Toby, Toby. Babylon law. Babylon law. Yeah? yeah. We need to focus on what God's law is. Get, get that in Toby. Is it seven? Um, seven. Get that. Seven, thirteen to fourteen, the papers, yeah? Right, yeah, read that. Yeah. You know, so the Bible can't tell you itself sometimes. Show me. Because them say, can we have a read to me now, yeah? Show me, bro. And then there's a part of the Bible that says, a man like shall take a woman and call his wife. Like a man. Right. And then they have a big one. Yeah. The Bible like that says, he should take a woman and, you know, marry her and everything. But a wife, if you marry a woman, that's your wife. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So why can't you take one and say your wife, same man? At the end of the day, man, you don't mind. Marry her, that one woman, that's your wife. I'm trying to understand your question. I have to tell you more about it.
Bro, listen, we read this. We read this. I'm listening. Listen, one wife, one woman, man. That's honourable. And then, bro, I know you agree with that, right? You agree with that, my bro? Second, please. One wife, one woman. One wife? You agree with that? If me agree with that, well, me agree with where you can manage, you know. You have to agree with what God says. Huh? Yeah, it's in the Bible. I say that I can't say it. It's to the Bible. How much write up for the Bible? Say that again. How much write up for the Bible? How much write up the Bible? Yeah. How much people write the Bible? How much people write the Bible? Mm -hmm. The prophets of God wrote the Bible. The prophets of God wrote the Bible. All the people who wrote the Bible, the prophets, Jeremiah, you understand? Ezekiel, all the prophets wrote the Bible. And all of them look like me and you. Mm -hmm. You understand? Right. And then prophesy things, yeah? They prophesy things from so, the Spirit of the Lord. So, so, so when they say man can have more than one wife, so when that... Oh, them, oh, man not have more oh, than oh, one oh, wife. You understand me? Man not have more than one wife. Because, you know what I mean? No, no, tell him, tell him. Yeah, I think. And they are married. Easy. No, because you see at the end of the day, yeah? With, with, with the female species and a man program, yeah, we'll go to the point. Them, that's why man kill themselves many times. I don't really know. When the woman uh, really really with the man, get that in um, the first case. Then the man, you know, we'll go to that next. But for now, get um, the one yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. I want to deal with the brother when he said um, no. Babylonian. Oh, yeah. 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 Maybe we need to see ourselves in the Bible. That's what I'm thinking. This is a book. One second. What it is that we don't see ourselves in the Bible? We don't know that we are in the Bible. So now when we're reading the Bible, we're just reading it, just to read it, but we don't know that God is in that picture. The most has to be to specific people. Yeah, my boy. Well, read that. Read that. This is the book of Toby, chapter. 7 and verse 13 then he called his daughter Sarah and and she come to her father and he took her by the hand and gave her to be wife to Tobias saying behold take her after the law of Moses and led her away to thy father and he blessed them and called Edna his wife and took paper and did write a inscript in, instruct sorry instructment of covenant and seal it. See that so the point is, is that our custom even the Bible was to once you get married, sorry, go on, go on, see that bro. Pick up the phone you're like that's my wife right there, you get me? Yeah, yeah. Sibling, that's honorable, your wife, married. But the point is as well, is that what? No, but I don't think that's when we got married, our custom was to sign papers yeah. to show that agreement. So that's not a Babylonian thing. The thing is that came from the Bible, Bible first. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation.